break it something run into it there we go can we break the turret okay summons a valkyrie god Dang. hey yo everyone welcome back to the calamity summoner we're back in action here and oh dang look there's a cyst right here i'm not gonna fight it right now but that is today's goal is to fight this cyst and get the summon from it but we have a goal ahead of time here i made a navy fishing rod oh god okay he's gone i made this navy fishing rod though which is made from sea prism and navy stone and you know i needed a fishing rod because i wanted to get my hands on some summoner potions it says while held slowly electrifies nearby enemies why not use it while i go and fish for summoner potions and then also while i was looking at things i saw this rusty beacon prototype uh which let's look up how this is made boom sulfuric scales and 10 iron and it summons a long abandoned drone to support you clicking on an enemy gives them a tiny prick causing them to be aggravated the drone hovers above nearby enemies and inflicts irradiated no idea what the hell any of this means it's a boomerang what <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't, I don't know what the hell this thing does. But it said summon in it, so I thought it did something useful for summoners. So yeah, I'm gonna go fish. Uh, I guess before I fish, I might set up a little arena here for the hive mind fight. Hopefully, we get a good spawn like this. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Maybe I should just fight it right now. Do I have potions? Oh, I don't have my potion set up. I don't know if I could take it. I think this boss might actually be tough. Yeah, let's not worry about it for now. All right, so real quick before I go fishing, just want to show off that I finally update or I finally use some magic storage here very nice we got 480 spaces and if you guys don't know what this mod is it's a great storage mod it makes life easier and you can also set up a crafting ui thing where you put in all your crafting stations uh, for example i made this multitask center which combines like a bunch of basic crafting stations together and now i have all these recipes open for me and we don't have a merchant so i just wanted to show this because i know if i don't show it somebody's gonna be like he doesn't have a merchant and he has a net he's cheating bug net craft there you go shout out whatever mod allows me to craft this it might be calamity but like i could not get the merchant to spawn in i made four houses here that's about it but still four houses that's a, that's a lot more than zero houses and the merchant didn't spawn in a single time all right i got a total of uh, yes two summoning potions i know calm down it's a lot uh, i was fishing for at least 10 15 minutes the fish just weren't coming in given i didn't have the greatest bait but still you know that's quite a long time to only get two of those fish but yeah well, i'm pretty sure we have a potion lady i think it's her yeah alice the brewer so in the future if i really need potions boom right there but it is time to fight the one we've been waiting for but first the dryad has a quest if you couldn't tell by the exclamation point what do you need done status okay i don't know she had an exclamation point over her head have i just never talked to her before i thought it meant she had like a quest what is this summons a never forgotten friend that's a lot of money uh but look at this there's a lot of cool stuff i, I really like this terra architect mod because it adds in so much cool stuff oh shoot look we could buy a uh, straight summoners from her uh i've been told that you cannot get the lore back from fighting the boss again because you only get the lore from fighting it for the first time very upsetting let's go fight this boss i'm, I'm a little scared i'm not gonna lie because this boss i feel like this might be a difficulty spike but we are still just playing an expert no revengeance none of that we're just having a nice chill playthrough i think it's very funny how i posted a thing in my community post where i was like if the last video doesn't hit its like goal i'm quitting the series and a lot of people took that seriously like there's a whole meme about me not finishing series i can't even joke around with the meme motherfuckers are like yeah we're expecting this from you it's like of course i'm unsubbing it's like calm down bro <laughs> i even typed in this face in the post i thought i thought that would indicate my sarcasm but uh, my bad i can't even joke around out here you hate to see it but yeah this is our arena we have it's nothing crazy i don't i don't know we'll see we'll see how the fight goes now i have to walk back and forth until assist spawns so i guess until then we i, I jump cut what was that you saw that something flew up there y'all saw that okay i see assist down here i looked down here for a second and i was like hey maybe there's one down here there was what a what a surprise uh let my summons go ahead and do work faster please faster no okay, okay we're gonna have to do it the hard way uh i don't know what to rock here in terms of like summons i want a belladonna but i, I don't know if the belladonna is gonna be the best how am i supposed to do this bro this is another problem with summoner should i just attack it it's a thousand health like should i attack it with a pickaxe this shit takes forever we're very close oh look at that very very close come on break it break it something run into it there we go okay let's hope we can get out of here now thank you 
the boss kind of stuck down there who's this dank creeper what are we playing minecraft a hey, shout out minecraft cliffs and caves update this music is extremely intense for not much going on right now like i'm kind of having a relaxed way i could stand here i could stand still and do nothing okay maybe not now but like i had a nice second to stand still all right phase two haven't fought this boss in a minute but i didn't know that there was a phase two because the first part is just too easy it's too easy you can never trust when a boss is too easy because that's when they kick in phase two and then things get a little serious but yeah i don't know if i summon in my extra summon because i should have one extra summon from the summoner potion uh, also eat that bacon and we should be chilling this whole fight we have life regen we have minions that do a lot of damage it's it's gonna be tough for us to lose honestly i would have to put in effort i feel like to lose just like stand still now if i stand still i feel like i would lose but hopefully my summons are keeping up here i don't know i'm not sure uh the, the only summons i see are my belladonnas speak about losing I run into them like that make me lose a little faster we're hoping the fungal clump here does some work i need the fungal clump to get clumping so i can get a bunch of health there we go i got a bunch of health right there but there's not too many things we're trying to dodge i feel like the dank creeper is the main thing we're dodging other and not the boss itself and then there's other couple little projectile enemies running around stuff like that but other than that the fight wasn't too bad it got a little scary when i took that bunch of damage but it's like every boss fight where that happens you get stuck on the boss you take a bunch of damage oh well but yeah let's let's read the lore first now that i know that lore actually does something i gotta read it i'm not gonna actually read the lore itself i'm just looking for the good part favor this item for all of your projectiles to inflict cursed flame uh I, this doesn't really matter to me then i don't know does it affect summoner stuff who knows we got treasure bag let's pop this baby open because the main thing we're looking for not the flamethrower not the rain staff not the rotten brain the true shadow scales we take the true shadow scales we put them in here and look at that boom dank staff the staff pretty dank bro and uh i believe this is the only thing yep uh only cost seven shadow scales not bad not bad there's also this filthy glove i don't know what the stealth strike is i think that's a part of the rogue class which i've never done a playthrough on the rogue class i know it's really strong though yeah let me pick up a bunch of stuff here you never know when i'll find a wolfram battery finally no i have like 30 of these rover drives but of course no wolfram battery some people told me that there is actually a early game out we can get from calamity and it's in the snow biome or underground snow biome and it is the the dogs those big dogs that spawn okay the thing we just killed that went Ugh. so if we find that then boom bada bing we got our early game mount that isn't the uh rabbit so i might i might have to look honestly and since my boy here java hawk that is a, that's an interesting name my boy java hawk is here i'm gonna go ahead and get some goodies off of him hmm what is that beer mug hmm the ballista rod you can never go wrong with but the flame burst is also an amazing thing hmm i don't know i think i think i'm gonna go with the flame burst i never go with anything but the ballista rod but just because this is a summoner playthrough let's change it up let's get the flame burst and then also obviously we're gonna need one of these these things are really cheap it's good to buy them right now while they're cheap because in the future as you progress they become become more and more expensive i believe they become a gold a whole entire gold piece and then some so like let me get like like uh, 15 of them all right let us craft the dank staff i had to bring it out here i didn't even know that but here we are boom okay it's all good we can reforge it uh this crab i have not been using at all but you know what i have been using the crab for is the luxor's gift because apparently the luxor's gift scales on what you uh summon it with so that's that's what i've been using the uh, crab for but yeah let's desummon everything here and let's see this dank staff okay so they're pretty much what the hive mind spawns in these little little dank dank creepers over the hell they're called and uh, let's find an enemy for them to go against i need like an actual enemy not an enemy that's on the other side of a wall that my my summons are attacking it through i need an enemy right in front of me right now please okay this this might be a little bit harder actually this i'm fine with this because it lets me explore oh they got a little attacking in there they, they don't seem bad okay luxor's gift is doing too much work I, I gotta put it away yeah this allows me to look look around oh there we go perfect perfect enemy right there yeah this allows me to look around for the uh mount hopefully we find it they seem to be doing okay damage i can't really tell if i'm being honest it's okay i, I don't know <laughs> I don't think I see the appeal in these guys. Maybe that was just a tough enemy. 
I don't know. Uh, another thing I know we can get our hands on now is actually aerial, aerial light ore because that's our next armor set. Uh, if you guys are wondering why I haven't fixed this, I've tried. Trust me, I really have tried. Like, look at this. I turn on the positioning mode to move these icons from the widget mod and it just doesn't work. I can't touch it. I can't move anything. Oh, there we go. I moved it, <gasps> but I can't move the other one. Oh my God. This is the first time. I'm so surprised. This is the first time I've been able to move it. I, I can't move this one though. <laughs> I don't know why. Is it because of this? Maybe turn that off? No, I can't move this one. I, I don't know. But this one, I finally moved it. That's amazing. Uh, I have to find a new place. Maybe I'll put it like here so I don't override the text from like metal detectors, metal detectors and stuff. But look, I still can't move this one. What the hell? <laughs> All right, I'm kind of having troubles finding this mount from Calamity. What the hell is it called? Big dog, scary dog, something like that. Uh, I haven't seen like the shrines anywhere, but this is a good thing because I'm down here. I upgraded my pickaxe and I should be able to mine aerial light so we can get an, up, an armor upgrade finally because uh, we have been rocking this armor for a minute. And I believe after aerial light, I think just rocking vanilla hornet armor is the way to go. But yeah, I'm down here with a spelunker. So you think it would be easier to find uh, the shrine if it is here hopefully it didn't bug out and generate in a different biome i know that can happen sometimes but we're gonna hope for the best here and hope that it didn't okay i found something very interesting over here it's like a big laboratory and also there's something that shoots at me so this gives me modern redemption vibes for sure the thing that shoots at me is right there so if i you know pull out my belladonna's here you know they got no chance boom no Belladonna's? Wait, does it? So there's a pattern here. Mm -hmm. This is kind of this is kind of hard. I'm gonna die. Holy shit! This thing is accurate as hell. What the fuck? Okay, so I'm wondering how we get in here. Uh, I've been blowing up this wall right here to give me more room, but let, let's see. I don't know. Still seems kind of dangerous. Bust open the door. There's multiple turrets. Okay. The knockback on these turrets is insane. Can we break the turret? Okay. I should have just went for the chest. Lucky for us, though, there's a very easy way to teleport back. It does cost a little gold, but watch this. We talked to my boy over here, Edward, and I ain't talking about the turret YouTuber, but we talked to him. Resurrection potion. Yes, sir. Give me this. I'm going to just loot it, and I'm out of here. Okay. I'm not going to live and get out of here, but... I got as far as I can. So what did we get from that? Dradon's charging stations. Okay. I don't even know if I can use any of this stuff. Frozen turtle shell. It's pretty good. <laughs> That's a hard mode item right there. I don't know. I might have to use this. Be yeah, a not bad stuff. I guess we'll keep it for now. I don't know. I, I guess I could place one of these. Uh, there's no harm in placing one of these. Uh, unless I can't pick it up. No, I can pick it up. Cool. Hopefully that doesn't summon a boss or anything. This, the frozen turtle shell, I'll, I'll hold on to it though. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it for something. I don't know how I ended up somehow in between the dungeon. But look at this. If this drops in our callus, I end the video early. Okay, who is it? I knew it wasn't going to drop it, but you know, I, I still wanted to put something on the line. All right. So I'm about to use a grab potion here because the other stuff we need for area light is clouds, rain clouds, and some feathers. Which one am I making here? This one, the hat? No, that's not what I'm making. The helmet. Okay, cool. So like the second coolest, I think the melee one is the coolest looking. So we need that. We honestly don't even need that many area light bars. Uh, we don't need much of anything, honestly. So yeah, let's, let's just go ahead. Let's head up to the clouds what is this arrow dynamite there's a floaty explosive interesting maybe we'll check those out if we have extra area light but it's off to the skies baby oh i forgot we're playing uh calamity so we do have planetoids oh love what's in here i hope there's no queen bee actually in here no i don't see anything but what do we got okay a bezel you know somebody some dude told me that he spent years getting a bezel maybe he still doesn't have one we got these things i'm not even gonna worry about them for now because i don't need any of that stuff we have another planetoid this one's very nice got a lot of iron don't need it though in the future i may come up and mine it but for now i'm not worried uh there's a couple feathers being dropped behind us i'll pick those up eventually or maybe i never will i don't know i don't know what this stuff is this is calamity right hold up this is calamity oh my god i'm confusing myself if this is calamity i don't know what the hell it is asteroid block okay it's not calamity good to know okay we found the uh calamity crimson island very nice if i want to fight the crimson stuff 
I probably should and I probably will, but not not this episode. Probably we'll take them on like right before we do the wall of flesh. But I'm almost here. I'm at the ocean and I didn't find an actual island. What the heck? <laughs> I love the planetoids and everything, but bro, where the hell, where, the, where are my islands at? Oh, look at this. We got our uh, OG planetoid. Wait, am I going to get shot here? I see the ring around it. Oh, shit. Okay, fuck this. I'm out of here. I don't know how to disable those things. I'll learn that via the comments because you guys will tell me here we go we found our first islands not even the good islands but whatever it's fine i'll take it so let's blow all this stuff up get all these clouds uh, because obviously we need all these clouds to craft the armor set here i don't know how many clouds specifically but we'll just blow up a nice chunk of everything once i find like a regular island i will sit there and i will farm the harpies but until then we keep going oh look at this we got a nice meteorite island I don't know if this is how this island actually spawns or what. We got a nice mushroom island. Who doesn't love mushrooms? We got a jungle one that I'm kind of scared of. I'm going to honestly de summon my minions. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Because I know, I swear that some of these jungle ones, they actually have the queen bee in them, uh, which is kind of scary because I'm not trying to accidentally spawn in the queen bee. And here we go. We got our first actual island. Took us long enough, but, you know, at least we found one. At least one generated. Uh, I don't think the calamity planetoids override them necessarily but uh, it, it felt like it was way more spaced out than usual but yeah i guess it's time to chill up here kill a bunch of harpies and i will see you guys when we make the armor set all right let us get to crafting here let's make a sky mill because that is obviously what we're gonna need to craft this beautiful aerospec stuff uh let's start with the chest plate for surely and the pants because those are the for sure things we need and then the helmet boom bada bing we're good to go here now i did gather a couple of extra feathers i think five exactly yeah that's how many i have because there is a set of wings we're supposed to make eventually what are they called skyline wings uh we make them after we kill skeletron so there you go we got that prepared but let us see this armor in action here uh, our defense is at 10 boom is at 15 now uh damage on this thing 20 boom 21 what a big number and we keep the same amount of summons but what's the set bonus summons a valkyrie god damn taking over 25 damage in one hit will cause a spread of homing feathers to fall allows you to fall more quickly and disables fall damage that's very nice that it disables fall damage that's, that's a really good thing speak about fall damage hey in terraria 1.4.1 which comes out in october and i may have a big announcement once that comes out but i'm not going to spoil anything but when 1.4.1 drops they change the lucky horseshoe from being in the uh sky island chest to being in a regular gold chest gold chest i believe and then they're putting i feel like i talked about this i don't know if i talked about this in a video or a stream but they're putting the fletch the fletchling wings is that what they're called i don't know what the hell those journeys mode wings are they're putting those in sky chest man i'm hyped for 1.4.1 they honestly surprised me that they're actually you know doing things for 1.4.1 instead of it being just like a here is the achievements here's the vanity contest winners bye bye we're never coming back <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly surprised that they're balancing things that's, that's really a big surprise but yeah i don't even know why i have this flame burst in my inventory when i can't do anything but like i feel like i might just end this episode off here i've been this episode has taken me a long time to record there's been a lot of off camera work uh aka me exploring like 90 percent of the ice biome and not finding the mount that i was told spawns here i don't know maybe i just got bad rng maybe it's in this giant dark area i haven't been yet i don't know but this took me a while to explore all this look how many chests i found though bunch of chests right here but yeah let me know in the comments how to like disable the lasers in these like labs i don't know how to get rid of them if you can even get rid of them and instead of a like goal i just want you guys to reply to this would you guys want to see some stream episodes aka i'll stream them live on my twitch us just doing a regular episode but it'll be live and then i'll highlight everything and put it into a regular episode on youtube we could do that every now and then especially for longer episodes like the wall of flesh episode because that's probably gonna take us a while to make the arena get everything ready to fight the boss you guys let me know we don't need a like goal for this episode just let me know reply to that question tell me also the answer to the the, the turrets in the labs but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'll see y'all next time